you can't get away from what you really stand for. So it's critical that, that you remain true to what your brand has always stood for, but you must be consistently fresh and relevant to the market in the way you position your brand and the way you articulate uh, the core proposition of your brand. I remember we, we did take Hendrix to a few focus groups and I remember putting the bottle in the middle of the table and everyone immediately sitting up and looking at it and the moderator is saying, do you like this? And people say, no, we hate it. And I was like, that's what we're going with because that's awesome. Not traditional beer humor, where is Mexico? Is there enough role for the product? All those questions were coming up. And because it was a, um, yeah, a, a, a controversial other way of beer advertising. I got a phone call from our legal department, our internal legal department, and our lawyer said to me, I felt like I was 16 again, she said to me, Heidi, what have you done? And I had this mixture of elation because I knew exactly what it meant. It meant we were in trouble with FIFA and I was thrilled. It's like, what's an interesting conversation, really? Because uh, I think that's a, that's a necessity for any internet-based uh, products. It has to be something that's worthy of sparking a conversation. I don't believe that you're going to build standout products, you know, really truly innovative products that take the market by storm by analysing what your kind of near, near competitors are doing. It's more that sort of slightly grey world that I, that I think I spend most of my time inhabiting. Probably that's not a good thing to say. But, you know, that sort of area of just sort of slightly irrelevant, but actually more relevant than, you, than it probably ought to be. You frame a project in a way that is actually impossible to do. And then people say, oh yeah, that's interesting. Um, there are no books on this. There are no competitors doing this. There's no technology in place and we don't have the materials. So we have to start thinking. You have to do something really interesting. Um, even if you offend people, even if you don't do things that uh, are gonna always, can always work, but you have to do something really interesting, um, which you can honestly, hand on heart, say, I would look at somebody who's next to me and go, did you see that? Or did you look at that? Or take a moment to, to sort of investigate that. And if you can't do that, then it's definitely not gonna be passed on to by anyone to anyone ever. Um, no matter how many like, forward buttons you put on it or you know, whatever other sort of silly tactical devices you try and do to make things move on. People are much more concerned now about where their food is coming from, you know, the provenance of it, you know, the fact that it's either local or you know, produced by small artisanal producers, um, the quality more especially of, of what they're getting. And uh, you know, I think part of the interest in our beer in, in, is in the same way because you know, we, we are in London, you know, this is a local beer, you know, that means something. We love hiring into our business people from other industries, you know, we've got people here who worked in television and advertising, journalism, banking, you know, and what you get is lots of fresh ideas from other industries.